Hi everybody, I'm Jim Carroll. OpenFlow, or Software Defined Networking, is clearly one of the hottest trends in the industry, and it promises a lot. Uh, the power of virtualization, the scalability of the cloud, the economics of commodity hardware. Last October, the first Open Networking Summit was held on the campus of Stanford University, and it was completely packed, a sold-out event. This week, the second Open Networking Summit is being held at an even larger facility in nearby Santa Clara, California. And at $1,200 a ticket, no surprise, it's sold out again. And the waiting list is said to be several hundred people long. On the agenda this week are network architecture presentations from Google, from Yahoo, from Verizon, from Princeton University, NTT Communications, Deutsche Telekom, the list goes on and on, many others. So to understand what's behind all of this enthusiasm, I sat down with Dan Pitt, who is the Executive Director of the Open Networking Foundation. Over his career, Dr. Pitt has worked for many of the leading players in the field, including IBM Networking Systems, HP Labs, and Bay Networks. Uh, he's also served as the Dean of the School of Engineering at Santa Clara University, and since last year, He's led the Open Networking Foundation. So let's get started by hearing about the mission statement. ONF's mission is to make SDN the new norm for networks. We really want to foster successful commercialization of this technology so that users can actually benefit from it. We are also going to be creating standards and have done so, in fact. Um, we took or drafts that had come from standard and we have updated them and issued them as uh, standards from the Open Networking Foundation. We are standardizing the OpenFlow protocol which is the, the essential cornerstone of software defined networking because you have to have some way of communicating from the separated control plane to the forwarding plane in all the switches and because of the interest in, uh, among customers especially in having a standard way of doing this uh, we're making this a standard. The initial push was from the data center side, from the hyperscale data centers in particular. Um, but now interest is coming from all sectors with uh, a lot of enthusiasm, both enterprise uh, data centers, enterprise networks, uh, and service provider networks, both. Well, we uh, issued an, an update to the OpenFlow standard that uh, includes uh, IPv6. Uh, and bunch of other improvements. We've also uh, created uh, the first uh, OpenFlow configuration specification. We have grown our membership you know, by a factor of more than three uh, of members in addition to the board. Uh, and we have gotten very involved in uh, uh, interoperability, testing, uh, demonstrations uh, uh, that it works, that things work together, and uh, basically the things that the commercial world really depends on. The Open Networking Foundation has been in close cooperation with the producers of the Open Networking Summit. It is not an ONF event per se, but it's done in close cooperation with us. I'm a program advisor. Uh, I'm speaking. Many of our board members are speaking. Uh, been involved in uh, defining what the program ought to be, what the message ought to be. It's, uh, it's, it's just like Mecca for people interested in SDN to come to the Open Networking Summit. The emphasis last fall in the first one was the promise of SDN. The emphasis on this one now is the reality of SDN. So we'll be hearing from uh, service providers, you know, carriers, um, hyperscale data center operators, enterprise data center people, enterprises in general, um, some academic deployers, as well as producers of the technology about how real it has become. You know, there is interest from, from so, many, so many kinds of uh, companies, especially if you look at, at the users. Um, we're have, we now have enterprises as members, uh, not just service providers and vendors in the Open Networking Foundation. The uh, deployments are happening all the time. They, they start typically as trials. But one of the advantages of OpenFlow-based SDN is you can, 
introduce it to your network really just one, one box at a time and experiment with it and learn from it and then grow it organically. For those who can't, can't attend, uh, they'll be able to watch it on video. We'll have videos of, of all the talks and all the slides uh, sometime shortly after, after the summit. Um, and you know, what to watch for is you know, what we're focused on for this year. We're going to you know, continue to advance the technology to make sure it meets the market need. Uh, we're going to work on helping deployment through interoperability events and other, and other uh, vehicles. We're going to tell the story of SDN and, and OpenFlow. Um, so that people understand not so much about the technology, but about the benefits it brings. And we're going to do our best to make this uh, a vibrant market. Great. Well, thank you for joining me today. You're most welcome, Jim. Thanks.